Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And if you're wondering, hey Yvette, is that a pendulum? How do you use it? Do it really work? Hey listen, you landed on the right video. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly use a pendulum to get answers from your subconscious mind or the universe. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is a metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives life changing information. So only thing I ask for you to do to support this channel is to like, subscribe, tap the bell, and most of all, just keep watching the videos. Now, if you want to know how to use a pendulum correctly, keep watching. I'm back, everyone. Now, what is it that I have to tell you about a pendulum? Now, listen, this is something that I use basically almost every day to get yes and no answers or just to find out what direction my life is going in at this moment. Now, pendulums have been used for centuries, everyone. You can actually make your own pendulum. You don't have to buy one. But if you don't want to go through the hassle of buying a pendulum, I will have in the description a link to take you to my website and you can order a pendulum from there. But a pendulum is a dousing tool used to help communicate with your subconscious mind or the universe to get yes and no answers. Now listen to me, everyone. It's yes and no answers. The pendulum is not going to just speak to you like, hello, who are you? None of that. But it will give you yes and no answers, and I'm going to show you how to do it correctly. So now, let's move on. Now, the first thing I want to mention to you about using a pendulum is you need to have an open mind. I don't want you to use a pendulum and be telling the pendulum your answers. You need to quiet your mind and ask your question, your yes and no question, and then let it go and allow the pendulum to swing and give you the answer. Now, you're going to be shocked when you start using this. And like myself, you're going to be one of those people that carry a pendulum around with you. So now, the first thing is everyone is different, okay? The swing of the pendulum is based on you. So some of you, this might be yes, and this might be no. Other people, this might be no, and this might be yes, okay? So I'm going to tell you the direction of the swings for me. For me, front and back is yes. Left and right is no. When I'm in between questions, I will get a circular movement, okay? When... I'm asking a question that is not asked the correct way and it needs to be stated a different way, I will also get a circle. If it's a question that has many different answers, I will get a circle. So now for me, when I start seeing the circle, I give it enough time to change its direction. Now the next thing you need to know is that your hand needs to be very steady when using a pendulum. Now, until you get proficient at using this, you can actually use the arm of a chair or the table to balance your elbow to keep your hand steady. Again, when we're doing this, we're allowing the pendulum to move completely by itself. Now, the next thing is you need to know exactly what it is you want to know from the pendulum. This is just not just throwing questions out there. This is none of that. You really need to know what questions you're asking to get a real answer, okay? And again, is yes and no. So let's start off first by finding out what is yes and what is no, okay? Now, Pendulum, can you show me yes? Pendulum, can you show me no? There go my circular movement. Now it's changing direction. So this is no. Again, show me yes. And that is yes. So again, if you're having problems balancing your arm, you can put your elbow on the chair or on the table and you can use it this way. For myself, I prefer to keep it up high 
so that I can see it in front of my face. So now here it is, we found our yes and we found our no. To start it off, you might wanna ask a question like, is my name Yvette? And it's moving front and back showing me yes. Is my name Kim? Is my name Kim Fields? It's changing the direction by going in a circular movement and now it's going to give me no. Am I a nurse practitioner? Yes. It's giving me yes. Do I live in Africa? It's giving me the circular movement and it changed to no. It is just that simple, everyone. Now listen, you can use a pendulum to answer questions during your day. If you're going into a meeting and you wanna know if things are going to go right, if things are going to go bad, you can ask these simple questions and see what answers the pendulum give you. Again, I need you to have a clear mind, everyone, because you can influence how the pendulum moves, okay? So when you're sitting there, you're like, no, 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 no. Basically, you can make the pendulum say no. But other than that, if you're just having fun and you're saying, oh my God, I'm getting ready to go into a meeting. Pendulum, is this going to be a great meeting for today? Is this going to be a great meeting for today? See, the pendulum for me is going in a circle. Why? Because I don't have a meeting today, okay? So ask a question and be free for whatever answer you get. If the pendulum is giving you an answer that you do not want to hear at the moment, you can basically change the direction and the course in your life by taking a different action. Okay, the pendulum is just giving you the answers based on what direction you're going in at that moment. Okay, everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and I just showed you how to use a pendulum correctly. Now, listen, if you want to buy a pendulum, the only thing you need to do is look in the description, okay? Click the link and go to the shop. You will have one in a couple of days. Other than that, if you like this video, I do want you to support this channel by liking, subscribing, tapping the bell, but most of all, watch another video. Other than that, if you want readings, coaching, or if you buy, want to buy any metaphysical supplies like crystal bracelets or um, incense and sage, whatever it is you need for your metaphysical needs is in the description. Click the link, go to the shop, sign up for reading, sign up for coaching. Everything is right there. So again, this is Yvette getting ready to sign out with my pendulum and namaste.